everyone, uh, Andy here, back again with my DIT cart, and I've recently upgraded the uh, monitor on it to the brand new uh, Canon DP V2410. This is a 4K HDR reference monitor with near Rec 2020 color space, right? So 496 by 2160, a 17 by 9 aspect ratio. It is HDR, as in it ha has high dynamic range potential, right? So standard monitors are SDR, stan standard dynamic range. This is HDR, giving me more than a standard monitor. In fact, it can put out you know, up to 400 nits edge to edge uh, output and has a, a backlit RGB LEDs. It can get really nice clean blacks and really bright whites, meaning it can properly map an HDR signal onto it. It can even have an ACES proxy mode in there so it can properly show the ACES proxy standard, which is very unique and different. So uh, that's that color space thing. Uh, it, has, uh, <laughs> it has a lot of features. Now, what I really like about it beyond just being a great reference monitor, which is traditionally uh, set up for a post suite, uh, here I can actually use it in the field. It's 24 inches, it's ruggedized, it can run on battery, but again, perfectly at home in a post suite as well. I can actually send a raw signal out of that, a uh, C300 Mark II or a C500, and actually take that signal and debear it live for me and properly display it, right? So in the menus here, if I go to the bottom, you can see it's coming in 3G SDI, 3G SDI raw and making that 4K signal all over one cable. So very cool option there. I can get that signal. It's a 444 signal because it's coming right out of that raw data. So that's a great thing. And then I can take that signal and convert it uh, to be HDR, which I have it in this case. Or of course I could uh, go into ACES proxy as well. So uh, it can take that signal and, and, and manipulate it. Uh, so you can go ahead in the settings here and see. Right now, I'm just taking it in as Canon log, expects Canon log, uh, which is here in the picture mode. And then it's taking that Canon log uh, in the gamma settings and changing it to HDR, right? So uh, you can see the signal coming in and not HDR, and you'll tell it's, it's very bright. And this is just me trying to show you what HDR can do. The HDR curve is bringing it down. I also have color selections as well on the color gamut selection. I can choose uh, cinema gamut to 709 here. The camera will be in their Canon cinema gamut, which is again a very wide color space. And I can choose to see that converted into 709 on the display or into that 2020 mode. Really unique, really rare. In the field, no one's really seen this before. So uh, we're almost there, pretty amazing. And of course, DCI, right? DCI is the cinema spec. I can take the, the output of the camera and see it in DCI, which is, again, pretty, fairly rare today. So otherwise, in this color gamut selections, I have other options. I have, I have a SMPTC, a straight 709, LUT conversions, and I can even load in several of my own uh, user LUTs, right? So I was working with a signal uh, that, that was out of, a, out of a post suite like Resolve here that was already in the HDR standard of 2084. I could actually just go to my channel here and see this. this is a rough HDR image. In the menus, I can set it up to be expecting SMPTE signal 2084, SMPTE 2084 right there, uh, and then set the HDR range. The monitor can't show the full range of the spec of SMPTE 2084, but I can adjust it so that to set, determine where it's clipping the image versus what it's trying to show on the screen. A couple other features that I really like about it, uh, I can work directly with uh, a tangent panel here to control built-in CDLs or color decision lists. Go back to my, my uh, uh, camera here. Uh, the, the monitor has the ability to, do a, to apply a live CDL to it. I plug a tangent panel, this is an element TK, directly into it, I can actually sort of live grade this display, right? And when I'm done grading it, I could choose on the monitor to dump the CDL onto a USB stick, and off I go. So this is the, this is the first combination of camera and monitor that really is merging those two together. Uh, and built for the field. Uh, so I'm really happy to see this monitor come out. It, now we can actually take a camera like this C300 Mark II, go to the field and see what it really can do, get a much better idea of what can be done in post. So that's the idea here. Uh, and I'm really happy to have it in my cart, that's for sure. So uh, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.